to find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between u and v or between 1 by u and 1 by v. A convex lens is a converging lens. When parallel rays of light pass through a convex lens, the refracted rays converge at one point called the principal focus. The distance between the principal focus and the center of the lens is called the focal length. Ma'am, how can we find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between u and v or between 1 by u and 1 by v? The relation between u, v and f for a convex lens is given by 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u or f is equal to v u by u minus v where f is equal to focal length of the convex lens u is equal to distance of the object needle from the optical center of the lens v is equal to distance of image needle from the optical center of the lens Let's do an experiment to find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between u and v or between 1 by u and 1 by v. Our aim here is to find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between u and v or between 1 by u and 1 by v. Apparatus required are an optical bench with three uprights, one fixed and two uprights with lateral movement, a convex lens with lens holder, two optical needles, one thin, one thick, a knitting needle and a half meter scale. Procedure Determine the rough focal length of the given lens by focusing a distant object on the wall. Draw the straight line on the table Mark lens position O on it and also distances F and 2F on either side of 0. Take the object needle and keep it on the line at a point near 2F on one side of the lens. This distance from point O is object distance U. Adjust height of the object needle to make its tips lie on the horizontal line through the pole of the lens. From the other side of the lens, see an inverted image of the object needle. Take an image needle and keep it in such a way that its tip exactly coincides with an inverted image. Move your eye towards your right and left of the pen. The tips will get separated. That is, the image tip and the image needle tip have parallax. To remove the parallax, adjust the image pin on the same line slowly. Fix the image needle at the position of no parallax. Measure this distance from point O as image distance V. Repeat the experiment for different values of U and find the corresponding V. Plot the graph of U versus V and 1 by V versus 1 by U and hence find f from both graphs. Observation Rough focal length of the given convex lens is equal to x centimeter. Actual length of the knitting needle x is equal to x centimeter. Observed distance between the tip of the object needle and the optical center of the lens when knitting needle is placed between them y is equal to x centimeter. Observed distance between the tip of the image needle and the optical center of the lens when knitting needle is placed between them. Z is equal to x centimeter. Index correction for the object distance u, x minus y, is equal to x centimeter. Index correction for the image distance v, x minus y, is equal to x centimeter. Table for U, V, 1 by U and 1 by V. Serial number, position of object needle A, centimeter. 
Lens O centimeter. Image needle C centimeter. Observed distance OA is equal to U centimeter. OX is equal to V centimeter. Corrected distance U centimeter. V centimeter. 1 by U centimeter inverse. 1 by V centimeter inverse. Result. Focal length of the convex lens as determined from the graph between U and V is equal to X centimeter. Focal length of the convex lens as determined from the graph between 1 by U and 1 by V is equal to X centimeter. Precautions. The optical bend should be horizontal and all the uprights should be vertical. The tip of the object needle, center of the lens and the tip of the image needle should be at same height. The object needle should be placed at such a distance from the lens such that its real and inverted image is obtained. Tip to tip parallax should be removed carefully and while removing the parallax, the eye should be kept at a distance of at least 30 cm from the needle. The position of the convex lens should remain fixed throughout the experiment. Index correction should be applied properly. The needles should be sharp. Sources of error. The optical bench may not be horizontal. The uprights may not be vertical. The parallax may not be removed properly. Index correction may not be applied properly. Thank you, ma'am, for this knowledgeable experiment.